I'm Bobby Lee from Square. This tutorial focuses on setting up a loyalty program in your Seller Sandbox dashboard, enrolling buyers to it, accruing points, and redeeming those points. One pro tip, if you're following this tutorial step-by-step, step, we save a ton of IDs that you'll be referencing a lot throughout the process. So I highly recommend opening a blank doc to save these in. The first thing you may wanna to add to it is your app's location ID, which you can find in your developer dashboard. A couple things to know. Square offers a free trial for the loyalty program. And afterwards, there is a monthly fee which you'll see upon signing up. For this tutorial, we'll be working in Sandbox. So we'll be using a Square Sandbox credit card to test things out. And lastly, in this first section, we'll be manually creating a loyalty program in the Seller Sandbox dashboard. It's crucial not to skip this step because all subsequent steps rely on this. Let's get started. On the homepage of the dashboard, scroll down to you see Default Test Account. This will open the Seller Sandbox dashboard. Once it's open, on the left panel, click Loyalty. Then click Get Started. And for testing things out, let's keep it simple and make a rule for every dollar spent, a customer will earn one point. Then click Continue. Now we'll set up a reward tier. Click Next in the top right, and we'll create a new reward. And we'll do 10 points earned for 10% off the entire sale with no maximum discount set. Now click Next, top right again, to review your program and click Next again to see the cost of running your Square loyalty program. After reviewing the pricing, click Start Free Trial. Once again, don't worry, we're in Sandbox and we'll be using a Sandbox credit card that Square provides so you're not charged for testing this out. I'll add a random seller name, CC number being four and the rest ones, CVV is 111, expiration is some date in the future, and then zip can be set to one, two, three, four, five. Now click subscribe. Now you've created and subscribed to a Square loyalty program. Next step, let's enroll a buyer to this program. To do this, you'll need a program ID and the buyer's phone number. We're going to use a sandbox phone number. So basically a made up buyer that is not yet enrolled in our loyalty program, but is in our customer directory for testing purposes. Let's open API Explorer to create a loyalty account for our sandbox buyer. Find the loyalty API, then set the endpoint to list loyalty programs to grab the program ID. Run this request and copy the ID and save it for later. Next, change the endpoint to create loyalty accounts and generate the item potency key. This key is to make sure this request only runs once. Then click add to create the account and under mappings type his phone. So paste the phone number we mentioned earlier into the value field. Then paste in the program ID and click Run Request. The response includes the newly created loyalty account ID and customer ID. Both balance and lifetime points are zero because the buyer has not yet accrued any loyalty points. Now I'm going to show you how a buyer can accrue points. We'll start by creating the customer's order. Click Orders API and Endpoint Create Order. Then generate another item potency key. Click Add and add the location ID. Then scroll down to line items. We'll do quantity of one, base price money of a thousand, ten dollars and cents, and currency USD. Then let's name this line item Unicorn Donuts. Then hit run request and keep the order ID for the next step. Now let's create a payment for the donuts using the payment API. Click payments, create payment, set amount money to a thousand, same currency, generate an item potency key, and use CNON card nonce OK because we're just testing a single payment. Then add the order ID. Now let's add points to the loyalty account for the test customer who just bought these donuts. For demo purposes, I'm going to check the current point balance in the loyalty account before adding points by calling retrieve loyalty account. Set this to loyalty and select the retrieve loyalty account endpoint. Add the loyalty account ID then hit Run Request. As you can see in the response, the current point balance is zero. So let's add those points. Set the endpoint to accumulate loyalty points. Add the loyalty account ID again. Then click Add here to accumulate points. Paste in the order ID. No need to add points here. The endpoint will compute this. And lastly, an item potency key and add your app's location ID. Now run the request to add these points to the buyer's loyalty account. 
To double check everything went through, let's call retrieve loyalty account again to verify the loyalty point balance. So change the endpoint here, add in the account ID, run the request, and awesome. The point balance is now 10. Now that the buyer has 10 points in their loyalty account, I'll show you how they can redeem these points to get the 10% discount reward. So we're going to create another order for a $10 item, and then we'll offer a reward option to the buyer. In a real app, you would compare the point balance in the buyer's account with the points required to get a reward on the client side. But for this example, I'm just gonna show you the commands you'd run. You know the drill. Set to orders, then create order, generate another item potency key, click add, paste in location ID, then scroll down to line item, set quantity at one, base price money to a thousand, same currency, then let's give it a name, how about mm, mermaid cookies. Now run the request. Grab the order ID and save it. Next, we'll retrieve the buyer's loyalty account again to see the point balance the customer has accrued and at the same time grab the program's reward tiers so we can present applicable reward options to the buyer. So call list loyalty programs to retrieve the loyalty program's reward tier ID. In this example, the balance of 10 points in the loyalty account qualifies for redeeming 10 points for 10% off your entire sale. Now onto creating a reward. Set the endpoint to create loyalty reward, generate an item potency key, add the loyalty account ID, then the reward tier ID you just grabbed, and the order ID from the last order created. Now run the request. Now that you've synced this new reward with the order, let's look at the fields that were automatically updated. So go to the retrieve order endpoint of the orders API and add the order ID. First off, the total discount money shows a $1 discount, so 10% off the total sale, changing the total money from $10 to $9. Then it adds a relevant discount to the order with the discounts property and apply the discount to line items that qualify with the applied discounts property. And lastly, it added the reward to the order with the rewards property here. And the presence of the discount indicates the reward was applied to the cookies. So there you have it. We just went through our loyalty API from top to bottom. We went over how to set up the loyalty program on the developer dashboard and enrolled a buyer to it. Next, we went over how to accrue points for orders. And lastly, we showed you how to redeem points by creating rewards. If you have any further questions, let us know in the comments. Happy coding.